as I mentioned earlier, it's day seven of the Ozark Empire Fair, and I went out earlier today and actually did talk to Aaron Owen, who is the general manager there. Here's what he had to say. All right, talk about some of the things that start tonight and move through the rest of the week. So tonight we've got uh, all the three free stages, the sea lions, the firefighter show, the axe women show, the ag adventure, which is a great ag educational program. There's the petting zoo. There's all the ag exhibits, the conservation building. There's the e plexus full of all kinds of uh, vegetables, quilts, all the pies, cakes, photography. There's just so many levels of just, you know, you can spend a day out here just doing free stuff. You know, seeing the exhibits and then the evening set at the stage and go watch the, the, the free attraction shows have just been amazing this year. People are, you know, already saying bring them back. And so it, it's an awesome time. That was my next question. And you mentioned the free attraction shows. So if you pay your admission to the front gate, what other things might you need to pay for other than food and souvenirs? Anything? Uh, tonight is just food and souvenirs. There's there's nothing we're charging for. The grandstand shut down tonight because we're getting the rodeo set up for the next two nights, and um, everything's free. You know, just buy some food or rides if you want. But there's lots to do and just set and enjoy and uh, make family memories. There's a lot more happening here than you can see from the road for sure. What is the firefighter show all about? It's education for young children, and it's an interactive. He selects a group of kids out there, and they go in and they they compete like they're fighting a fire. They go through the smokehouse, but what it's really doing is it's telling them where do you go and how do you handle a fire. You know, it's uh, get down and crawl, get to the mailbox, meet your parents there. It's um, he does an awesome job with that, and it's just just like we do all the way through the fairgrounds as we continue to try to make an educational adventure as well as the life memories. Is there anything you want to tell our audience regarding coming out here? Where to park, what to be prepared for, anything you might want to bring? The weather's perfect. Yeah, the weather's perfect. Our, handy, our best handicap parking is in the west lot, which you would come in by the zoo and come around that way if you need handicap parking. But otherwise, there's parking all around the fairgrounds here uh, and on site. And um, you might want a jacket if you're staying late this evening. Some of the ladies last night that worked for me, they were getting a little cold as, as we wrapped up the evening, which is a wonderful thing to talk about, but uh, uh, it was nice. Not something you expect at the Ozark Empire Fair, needing a jacket ever. Aaron Owen, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, Jeff Lee with Tough Bull Productions. You are in charge of the rodeo, which kicks off tomorrow night, which will be Thursday night. Tell me about it. Yeah, so uh, Thursday and Friday night, we've got the Hardy's Extreme Invitational Rodeo, and I believe this is our fifth year being back here at the Ozark Empire Fair. And you know the thing I love about coming to Springfield, Missouri, is the audience, the crowd out here, the atmosphere of the fair. They always come out to have a great time with the rodeo, and it's just so much fun. Okay, Jeff, real quick, what are some of the exciting things we're going to expect to see at the rodeo? Yeah, so it's a full rodeo. If you've never been to a rodeo before, we've got bronc riding, bull riding is everybody's favorites, but also we have the timed events that people may not be as much familiar with. So you've got your roping events, calf roping, team roping, and cowgirls barrel racing. So that's basically horse racing inside our arena. Those girls are going to have to twist around three barrels and get out the quickest they can. And that's always seems to be, if it's not bull riding, it's barrel racing because people love a horse race. All right, so these are timed events. This is a full-on competition. Yeah, so it's a, it's a full-on competition. Over the two nights, we'll crown our champions after two nights of competition and find out who's, uh, who's going to be the best of the best this year. All right, real quick, tell me, Jeff, what time does the rodeo start Thursday and Friday nights? Hey, it all kicks off at 7.30 there at the grandstands. Jeff, thanks. Thank you. Mm. All right, note that the rodeo tomorrow night and Friday do require a separate ticket. So oh, okay. be prepared for that when you mm. get there. But as Aaron said, once you pay the admission to the fair, there are all sorts of free shows. That sea lion splash is really fun. The Axe Women Loggers of Maine amazing. looks so yes. good. I mean, those girls are amazing. They're very tough. I love the firefighters deal. There is a cowboy mounted shooting show coming up on Saturday. All sorts of free music. Don't miss something called Safari Jeff. That is a reptile and exotic animal. Animal show you can watch for free. You saw the guy that looked like an yes, yeah. alligator skeleton in his hands yeah. or whatever. So that's Safari Jeff. Happens three times a day for free. For more information and a complete schedule, log on to OzarkEmpireFair.com. Wow. Yeah. Action packed. So Action packed. And lots of food on a stick. And lots of that stuff lots I wouldn't have known about unless you told me about it. Well, Julie. get Thank on you. out there. Let's yes. go. All right, Ozark is live. We'll be right back.